Okay, we're back to look to talk about this problem. Okay, so I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to be going to the next slide, but you can be using as much space on this as you want to. So I need 32 feet. So this is really where I'd be kind of trying to play around with this number and think, okay, um, what's a big number I could do? Well, I'm going to just start with 6. 6 again. So 6 plus 6 is 12. So I'm going to do 32 minus 12. Okay, 2 minus 2 is 0. 3 minus 1 is 2, so 20. That means 10 goes on each of those sides. And length times width, 6 times 10 is 60. Okay, that's a pretty big area. I'm going to see if I can go bigger. Okay, so I'm going to do another one. I'm going to pick the number 7. So 7 goes on top, 7 goes on bottom. So 32 minus 14. Uh, I can't do 2 minus 4, so I'm going to do some trading. 3, three tens becomes 2 tens. 2 ones becomes 12 ones. 12 minus 4 is 8. And 2 minus 1 is 1. Split that. And 9 times 7 equals 63. Ooh, that's bigger. Okay. So that's that's definitely a lot larger. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. I'm going the right direction this time. I'm going to do 8. So 8 on the top, 8 on the bottom. Um, that's going to be so 32 divide or 32 minus 16. I can't do 2 minus 6. So 2 tens and 12 ones. 12 minus 6 is 6. One, 2 minus 1 is 1. Split that. Um, oh, and 8 times 8 equals 60, oh, equals 64. Oh, that is going to be my biggest one. Um, I don't have to do another one because if I was going to try to do, um, like 9 on the top, well, I already did that one right there because 9 on top, that's 18, which I've already done over there, so... That means that we've got seven on the two sides. So my biggest area is 64. So my biggest area, so the biggest area is 64 for this problem because one side is eight feet and the other side is eight feet, which is kind of funny now with both of those problems. Squares, those, because that's a, that's a square that gave me the largest perimeter or the largest area. Um, so you can stop there, check. You can watch this first part of the video if you want to again. But I'm going to go to the next part. Okay, so you're going to notice on number one, or on this first page, page 279, you're not going to do number two. You can cross out if you want to. And you're not going to do number three. So I'm going to go to my next page here. Okay, for page 380, you are not doing anything on this one either. So you don't, um, so you can just skip this page. You are not doing page 380. There's nothing on this one. Uh, when you get to page 381, you are not doing number six. You are not doing number seven, but we are doing number eight. So this is page, just make sure you're on the right page, page 381, number eight. Mr. Gomez hangs a mural on the classroom wall. Find the perimeter and area of the mural. Remember that perimeter is the outside and area is the inside. And there are different ways to do your um, perimeter and area. So one way to do your perimeter, you can already see they have one of the little, they have um, one of the little sections counted. So you can think about this like a fence more so. Um, each of these tiny little pieces is like a part of the fence. So that's just one. So if it was me, you could go to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You might even want to write that down too so you don't forget. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You can keep on going all the way around. Or, and that would be one way to do a perimeter. 
Or you can do that. I already counted. This is 9. This side was 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, my top is 9. I know what my bottom is going to be. I know what that side is going to be. So you have to add up all the sides for perimeter. Area, then, is just length times width. Um, so you could take your one, one of your long sides times one of your short sides. Length times width. Or, if you want to, you could draw a line through each of these. Because remember that we're, with area, you are measuring square feet. So basically, how many squares can go in this shape? So if I connect all my lines like this, I could go and count all of my squares. So then I could count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I'm going to stop the video there. Um, do your work for this one. This is for problem number eight. If Remember, any of these questions, reach out, ask me if you need any help. Um, otherwise, come back for the answer on this one.